today we are bottling and we have chosen a fruit day. The idea is that we can imitate each season by using the path of the moon. Do you think farming in a biodynamic way changes the flavor of the wine in the end? I personally think yes. As a year of hard work is bottled below, Alvaro, Marina and I take in this spectacular view from the top of their wine cellar, which they've covered with hay. This is the best way to isolate the cellar. So with the hay, we allow to have a better control of temperature inside the cellar. And whose idea was this? <laughs> Marine idea. No, we were thinking how to do this, you know, um, in an ecological way. So we came up with the hay. With the sun setting over the Andes Mountains, it's finally wine tasting time. It's good. Nice wine. Yeah. Can you Great. feel the compost? Can you smell the yeah, compost? Yeah. <laughs> I taste the compost, especially the... Uh, Say the, the chickens, the, the alpacas. <laughs> yes, the alpacas <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> We would like to be a model for others. We have been already influenced some other guys here in Chile to do it. We started alone in 98. Nowadays, there are six wineries doing biodynamics in Chile. It's delicious. I think we have to be a regional movement. Other growers doing the same to really impact in the environment. We say cheers in the United States. What do you say here? Salud. 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 Salud.